Hi everybody and welcome to Lost Genre Reddit Stories. On this post we got a story from Wedding Planning with a pretty good update and one from Petty Revenge. So if you want to get started with the stories just use the timestamps below the video. Now I'd like to give a quick shout out to everyone that supports me. Thank you so much, it really means a lot to me. And now let's get started with the story. This post is from the subreddit Wedding Planning and it's by user Firuzev. Rant. My bridesmaid is blanking me after I told her she couldn't wear a suit. Am I in the wrong? Looking for some bride's opinions on bridesmaid outfit and whether my bridesmaid is right to blank me. I've decided that my bridesmaids can wear whatever dress they like at my wedding, as long as it's navy blue. I thought this was the best way to make sure people are comfortable on the day and to gift them with something they can wear again. Two have chosen some lovely navy dresses, but last night one of my bridesmaids sent me a photo of a suit. It's a lovely suit, but very tailored and looks similar to what the groom and groomsmen will be wearing. She has worn a dress before, so it's not like I'm forcing her to wear something she wouldn't, but I really don't want her to wear the suit. When she first mentioned wearing trousers, she said they would be flared or wide, leg floaty and with a fitted top. I thought this was a great take on a dress and something she'd be comfortable in. For the last month, we've been looking for something for her to wear. This evening I had a lot of messages from her showing me a tailored jacket and trousers and after sleeping on it and discussing it with my future husband I said that although it's a lovely suit it's not a bridesmaid dress and looks similar to what the groomsmen will be wearing. She hasn't replied but I can see she's seen the message. A little later I checked on her, asked her if she was okay and asked whether she wanted to chat about it. Again she's read it and ignored me. I'm beginning to feel really guilty asking her to wear something less like a fitted suit and feel like she's blanking me so that I give in. Am I right to ask her to wear something else that I would help her find and pay for? It's not like I'm asking her to wear a bright pink dress and she still has some freedom to choose what she wears. OP, you are absolutely in the right to ask this of her. It's not like you're forcing one particular dress on her or anything like that. And it's not like she doesn't wear dresses or has refused to wear dresses in her day-to-day -day life. So you're certainly not asking her to do something that makes her uncomfortable. From other stories that I've read, you do not sound at all like a bridezilla and you're actually pretty cool as to what people can wear to your wedding. You're asking for it to be a dress that's navy blue that they can wear again at some other time whenever they want to. You're paying for it, it's a gift to them. You were even really cool when she said she just wanted to wear pants that were wide or something like that and you've spent a lot of time with her looking for something for her to wear. Now on her part, she's been kind of rude to you in the fact that she's left you on red because you didn't like her suit idea. In my opinion, that's pretty childish behavior and the one thing you don't need to forget is that this is your wedding. It's supposed to be hopefully stress-free and a happy moment for you and your future husband. So what do you guys think OP should do in this situation? Give in to the passive aggressive pressure that the bridesmaid is putting on OP and let her wear whatever she wants to wear even though OP doesn't like it or ask the bridesmaid if she really wants to be a bridesmaid or not. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section and now let's move on to the community comments to see what kind of advice they gave OP. Tortsy says, it kind of sounds like she wants to stand out a bit. If she wants to wear a suit because she doesn't wear dresses or doesn't feel comfortable in them, that is one thing. But if she wants to wear a suit to make a statement at your wedding is not the right place nor the right time to do so. I don't think you're being a bridezilla. I think she is ghosting you in hopes you give in. What is her personality like normally? And Dopey responds, her personality is exactly this, standing out to stand out. And we hardly talk anymore unless I reach out to her. Thank you for saying I'm not being a bridezilla. A lot of people are saying I am and conforming to gender norms but I've seen her in a dress so often that I really didn't think it was such a big ask. Obviously I want her to be comfortable but she's shown me dresses and two piece wide leg trouser options that she said she would be comfortable in so I don't know why she is suddenly being difficult about it. She gave me no indication that she would never wear a dress and was very excited about some of the options I sent her. 
Drive-by scientist says, is this a gender identity thing? If she's not comfortable in dresses, insisting that she wear one isn't cool. And Dopey responds, it's really not. She wears dresses all the time and originally showed me a navy dress that she was going to wear, then changed to a two-piece skirt and top, then to wide leg trousers instead of a skirt, and now a full tailored suit. Either way, she hasn't explained to me that she really wants to wear a suit and why. Because she's not talking to me anymore. Jersey Cowboy says, I don't think you can force your friend to wear a dress if she doesn't want to wear a dress. Maybe look up and send to her some pants options that you would be okay with and see if she's willing to compromise. If not, is it so bad that she looks similar to the groomsmen? Is it worth your friendship that she's in a dress? And Opie responds, We were going through lots of options for her, and at one point she was going to wear a dress, then wide leg trousers. We looked through lots of options and found stuff that we both thought were great. I'm not sure why she wanted to change to a tailored suit, but I don't think I'm forcing her to wear a dress if she was open to the option before. It's also better than one of my friends, who's making eight bridesmaids wear the same dress whether it suits them or not, isn't it? A little bit more context from OP. With regards to why it would make me uncomfortable, it is a very similar suit to what my significant other has picked out. It's the equivalent of one of the groomsmen wearing a white dress in my opinion. If they want to wear a dress, that's fine, but don't try to match the bride as we would like to stand out. I have also asked all my bridesmaids to wear a dress so that they look similar, and she seems to have changed from a dress to a suit without willing to discuss it with me. Isn't that really unfair for me? Why would she ask my opinion if she didn't want it and wasn't open to me saying, no, please wear a dress? A little bit about her. She's very outspoken and not afraid of what people think. So I think she would at least communicate with me that she doesn't want to wear a dress if that was the case, even if she didn't open up about who she is. But she has been very open to wearing a dress before and got excited about it, genuinely. So that's the community opinion. A lot of people asked about whether this bridesmaid was comfortable in a dress or not, and in my opinion, OP answered all those questions and clearly stated that the bridesmaid wasn't uncomfortable with wearing a dress at the beginning, but decided to change things along the way. And OP's bigger issue here is that the bridesmaid will not give her a clear explanation as to why she's changed her mind in this direction. Regardless of everything, there's an update, so let's continue with that to see what was going on with this whole story. I had a lot of responses from my first post. The basic summary was that I asked my friend of 10 years to be a bridesmaid. I said to find a navy dress that I'd paid for and we found a few together. She then sent me a photo of a tailored navy suit, saying she wants to stand out against the other bridesmaids. I said no to the suit and she blanked me. It's been three months. From what everyone said, I knew that it was okay for me to ask her to wear a dress because she wears dresses all the time and I was paying for it for my wedding. She works in fashion and so not only does she have a very unusual dress sense, which we embraced when choosing dresses together, she clearly wanted to make a statement at the wedding and wasn't happy that I took it down a notch by saying no. As someone commented, my wedding was not the time or place for a bridesmaid to stand out against anyone. The issue then became her ignoring me, so I couldn't get a response as to whether she even wanted to be a bridesmaid anymore. It had been nearly two months and I hadn't heard a peep from her. Her social channels were updated often, so I knew she was okay. She hadn't responded to my maid of honor about the bachelorette party, so at this point, it felt as though she was distancing herself from the entire wedding planning and fun. This is someone I was a bridesmaid for and wore a bright orange dress at her request, so I'd really been looking forward to doing all this with her. The biggest issue was the blanking. She was ignoring me over a suit, and I began to realize that she was punishing me so that I would give in and say she could wear the suit. Unfortunately, I wasn't quite up for taking all this crap, so really assessed how our friendship had fallen apart because she didn't make an effort anymore. A bit of background. 
I was diagnosed with cancer over a year ago and have recently finished all my treatment and had all my tests come back negative. Yay! She didn't even break her silence to ask me how I am or to show her support and, it might sound petty, but didn't even like my Facebook posts about my health. I realized that I can't have been that important to her if she was holding strong ignoring me until I said yes to her wearing a suit. After going from wanting her to be a bridesmaid, to being invited but not a bridesmaid, to being an evening guest, I settled on not wanting her to come. Her behavior was the last shred of the last straw and I put myself out of the stress and misery and sent her a message saying, I never expected this silence from you over something as trivial as an outfit. Being a bridesmaid is meant to be an honor and you've completely disconnected yourself from the entire process. You've ignored me like this before without telling me why and it's just not what I want from a friend, especially after the year I've had. It's not worth the emotional struggle or stress. I think we've grown apart and we're not friends like we used to be. This has been really selfish of you and I think it's best if you don't come to the wedding. Cue her suddenly replying saying I was overreacting. She called me and I knew I had to pick up because she was finally making an effort. Reddit, I really wish she wasn't talking to me for any other reason than because I said no to the suit. Nope. She fully admitted that she wasn't talking to me because I'd said no. So she ignored all my messages. I told her how ridiculous, childish, and selfish that is and told her I just don't think she should come do the wedding if that's how she's going to act. Okay, she said, as if I was being unreasonable. She didn't say anything else. So after 30 seconds of more silence, I hung up. I'd like to say the story doesn't end there, but it really does. She spent about 10 minutes sending low effort texts about how she didn't appreciate being talked down to, then why she was upset. She spent 400 pounds on a suit she apparently can't even wear, then how she would wear what I want, and that was it. Some of you might think that she's just bad at sharing how she feels, but she's not that type of person. I felt like she had checked out of the friendship and didn't think I was worth the effort after that. This was her version of an apology, and I just had enough after the blanking. It was a rubbish apology. I recently spoke to one of her friends who didn't know we had fallen out. She told me that she wasn't surprised and that it's not the first time she's used the silent treatment when she doesn't get her way. Apparently, since she moved away, there has been a lot less drama in her old social group and there's a lot less stress. The good news is my life is no different without her and the stress has definitely gone down a notch. It also meant I could ask my goddaughter to be in the bridal party. So a little girl in a dress will be going down my aisle instead of a bad friend in a suit. My Reddit lesson? Weddings bring out the worst in people and you can start seeing their true colors. Anyone that isn't happy as long as they see you married shouldn't see you married. And there you go. In the end, OP got rid of a bad friend. It didn't have anything to do with the bridesmaid being comfortable or not with wearing a dress. And had everything to do with the bridesmaid just making some sort of weird power play. In any case, it doesn't really matter because OP made the decision, and in my opinion, the right decision, to remove this fake friend from her life. And apparently from what OP says, she's really happy now. So good for you, OP. Also, congratulations on your health news, that's great, and on the wedding. Take care, OP. And now, we move on to the next post. This post is from the subreddit Petty Revenge, and it's by user Bad Wolf Creative. Drink alone. My ex wanted some DVDs back that he left at my place, so I agreed to meet him one afternoon at a bar we used to hang out at. Bastard is, of course, late. He's always late always making you wait. God forbid you start without him though. But I'm all out of craps to give. I order a drink and some grub to take home since I'm already here. If the dude doesn't show up by the time my food's ready, I'm leaving. I pay up front. Bartender says he'll even hold the stupid DVDs for him. He finally waltzes in with a stupid grin on his face and pulls up a seat beside me. 
He's all Mr. Confidence here, making a big show how okay he is being broken up, being alone. He orders a whiskey. Three minutes later, the bartender brings three things. The whiskey, the stupid DVDs, and my to-go box. I knock back the rest of my drink, grab the food, and go. What? You're leaving me? Comes the inevitable whine. Yep. Yes, I am. Petty, 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 but well done. If he wants something from you, he shouldn't leave you waiting, regardless of whether you guys are broken up or not. So good job, OP. You weren't meeting up to catch up or see how you guys were doing. You guys were meeting up because he wanted his DVDs. And that's what you got him. And it's that time that we've reached the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed today's stories. I certainly did reading them to you. So if you did, then go ahead and give the video a like. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel and become a member of our Discord community that just keeps growing and it is fantastic. And like I said in the beginning of the video, all of the relevant links are in the video description below, so be sure to check them out. And finally, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to watch this video. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys enjoy this content, so thank you once again. And having said all that, I will see you guys in the next video.